Well, hello everyone. My name is Atiyah and welcome to my channel. This is Smooth Complexions. How do you guys like this look tonight? I'm trying to get ready for my cousin's wedding this weekend. I think this will be an okay bridal look for me because you know it's going to be outside on the beach in Gaveston, Texas. So I'm trying to get it together. This wig tonight is from Madel. Madel. It's called Inspire. Two. I want to give you guys a couple pointers on this wig, but before I get into this, let me let you guys know something. Uh, I know a lot of people come into me emailing me at Tia, how can I find certain wigs, Carmen, I got so many emails on Carmen. How can I find this in my area instead of ordering online because I don't have a credit card? Okay, all you have to do is go right there in the info box, go to modelmodelhair.com, click on the link, Go to contact us and contact us. Please leave the wig you're trying to find, your zip code, your name, I think your email address, and they will contact you in the same day or two business days, but hey, they contact me in the next two hours, which was great. And they told me that uh, who sells my deal, my deal in my area, which was great because a lot of times you just want to go run and pick it up, get your color, and you're gone instead of you waiting on it to come in from the mail two and three days. Uh, as you know, I order from blackhairspray.com. If you cannot find it in your area, go right there in the info box, click on black hair spray, and get hooked up. I like Inspire. Inspire can be a really nice look for me this weekend for my cousin's wedding. I added, of course, a, a braid to bring up this sassy look. Um, another thing I want to point out about the Madel uh, Inspire wig hair is <clears throat> it does have three combs. Not two. Three. One on each side and one in the middle. I did not have to use the comb in the middle because it was tight enough. And as well the drawstring in the back. It brought me back to uh, when I used to wear those half wigs and you can uh, free trust. They have the drawstrings. And you can uh, tighten this as much as you like. I tighten it just a little bit, but it's really not needed. It's just totally up to you, the fit of your hair, how, how much you want it to hold. As well, heat. This is synthetic, but you can curl it with a curling iron because this is 100% Futura hair. But do not use a stove iron. Whew. Talk about burn. <laughs> so people only use a curling iron not a stove iron, but as well they have these little copper things on the side that's a best fit for the hair as well along with the drawstring. So those are some points I want to give you guys out about Madil, Madil. Yeah, I'm up there calling it model, model, and they're like, this is Madil, Madil. I'm like, all right then, all right, I like Madil, Madil. <laughs> so again, you guys, this is Inspire 2. I like it. The, what struck me to this is that it was really, really full. And I like that about this wig. You can really do a lot with this. So I'm going to show you guys how I apply it on. So please do stay tuned. And again, my Del my dear hair, click on the info box. See if you have a retailer in your area and get hooked up. I love you guys and bye-bye. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome. I'm always getting emails about a tea when you're going to show your hair. Once again, this is all my hair. Um, it's been since June the 4th, so it's been exactly 90 days since my last perm. I will be getting my sew-in again on the first week in October. Uh, right here you can see my hair is growing back from the last um, video when I got my sew-in takeout. So it's growing back pretty, pretty well. I'm proud of it. So this is my hair. Now let's get into the video. Now we're going to take the Madil Madil Inspire 2 Lace Wig. This is in 1B. Again, if you need to find this in your area, please do contact MadilMadilHair.com right there in the info box. And uh, click on Contact Us and leave your information to see who's in your area, what retailer is in your area, and get hooked up. As you can see, I placed both of the combs on each side of the ear. I did not use the one in the middle. It is definitely not needed. So right now, let's just take the powder brush. And let's just get the curls going the way you want it. Again, you can use a curling iron for this. But again, it's not needed. But do not use a stove iron. 
I love the lace effect that you do not have to use glue or tape on this wig. I think that's a plus. So right now I'm trying to get it just like the picture on the uh, on the wig. Just make a nice part. I'm gonna get the curls together with the petal brush. And I'm just gonna um get those curls on there. I just wanna put something behind my ear stall. I'm gonna get that situated and I'm just gonna take the uh, right side, my left, your right. And I'm just gonna place that behind my ear. And this is definitely gonna be a wonderful wedding look for me this weekend. You can do so much with this wig because this is definitely not lacking any hair. You can make your nice bun with your uh, Tony tail bands. Just anything you want, up, uh, you can put it up. It is definitely a nice versatile wig, I must say. I love it. It's very thick. I like it. So now, I probably just put the other side behind my ear. Well, I am. And as you're going to see in the pictures, I just added the braid. To show you guys a different look you can do with this piece. And you can see how that beautiful lace effect. Again, this is Model Model Inspire 2. And you can wear it without or with glue or tape. It's totally up to you. And of course, I got my eyebrows waxed tonight. If anyone else has done Inspire 2, please do send your link. And here's the drawstring. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to tighten it, then I'm going to tighten a knot, and then I'm just going to stick it right under that comb in the back that it does not show. But again, it's totally up to you. See? And it's not going anywhere. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Mwah! Thank you for watching.